hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl zion creativity today i'd like to take us on how to draft this raw food organza sleeve it's so simple it's so direct i think it's the simplest of all these raw food organza sleeve so i'll be making use of the brown paper for my pattern then you need the scissors you need the marker or pen you need the ruler then the organza fabric as well as the lace fabric for my sleeve i believe you guys know how to draft the basic sleeve i mean the basic of shoulder sleeve so so that we can quickly go into the matter of the day so i went ahead to draft it and you know cut it out So this is the pattern for the sleeve and after that I went ahead to place it on the lace fabric. I don't need to add allowance because I've already added allowance to the pattern. I just placed it on the lace fabric and cut it out. So after cutting it out, I added lining to it. You can add interface to give it structure. So this is the sleeve for both hands. So to my organza, I made use of one and a half yards of organza for both sleeves. You can decide to use more than that. It depends on how full you want the sleeve to look like. But I used one and a half yards for this. And I cut it into a very long piece. And for each piece, I made use of seven inches for the length. You can see. I made this of seven inches for each piece. So after that, I went ahead to lock both edges of my organza. You can see. You can decide to join all the pieces together before locking the edges, or do it after locking the edges. Either ways. So the next thing is for us to thread our needle because we'll be making use of the needle and thread to gather the organza together to give us that rough effect so just try and find the midpoint and start gathering as simple as that you just go on and on till you're done with all the pieces I'm done with the ruffles so the next thing is for us to work on the basic sleeve and here's my basic sleeve so I went ahead to look for the midpoint of each sleeve the length is eight and a half the length of the sleeve is eight and a half so that means the midpoint will be four one quarter then you mark it you mark it four one quarter then you roll it out Just look for the midpoint or yes. I used only one line for this ruffle. You can decide to use two lines, you can decide to use three lines, it depends on how full you want it to be. But remember, the more the lines, the more the yardage of the organza. So I went ahead to do the second sleeve also. Then you place it like this. Adjust the ruffles and you place it on the line. You can see you fold the edge before seeing, placed it on the line, then you begin to see it's as simple as that. So I'm done with my ruffled organza sleeve you can see it's so nice you can see it's so beautiful so that's my off shoulder organza ruffled sleeve so nice and very very simple 
the last thing is for us to just attach the slip to the basic gown and it's done you can see it has been attached so guys do not forget to like comment and share do not forget to subscribe i love you till i see you next time bye